the region that serves as the gateway to and from the rest of Mindanao. Welcome to Region 10 or Northern Mindanao. Good day everyone! This is my group mates. I'm Queenie May, Trixie Marie, Asia Marie, and Angelica. So we will be presenting the initial data collection report in Northern Mindanao. So I will be discussing the geography, topography, climate, and general institutional support in Northern Mindanao. Northern Mindanao is a progressive region with large tracts of land available for agriculture and industries. It is composed of five provinces, namely Bukidnon, Kamigin, Lanao del Norte, Misamis Occidental, and Misamis Oriental. Northern Mindanao has a total land area of 2,049,602 hectares. Geographically lies within latitude 7 degrees 15 to 9 degrees 15 north and longitude 123 degrees 30 to 125 degrees 30 s. Next is topography. And the next one is climate. There are three climate types prevail in the different areas of northern Mindanao. Socioeconomic in northern Mindanao is that the agency had enumerated policy recommendations that involve revesting and strengthening existing composition of workers in hazardous occupation, open access on digital infrastructure, alternative learning, and education modities. So political in Northern Mindanao is that the police command of Northern Mindanao has identified 54 municipalities and cities in the region as election watch list area. So there are three categories. The cultural context in Northern Mindanao. First is the language of Mindanao. The food of Mindanao. They are also known for coconut milk, and spices like chili, onion, and ginger. Mindanao culture and arts. The Mindanao folk dance. The Mindanao clothing. Lastly is the Mindanao celebration. Hi, I will be discussing the tourism policy, master plans, marketing strategies and market structures so let's go first the uh, tourism balances of northern mindanao so according to myla fake Carreño directa the tourism industry in the northern mindanao is starting to rev up after establishments completed the required adjustments in their facilities the master plans in northern mindanao so according to the canon our plan outlines strategic trust and priorities that will address poverty and increase income, a resilient and sustainable communities, and build vibrant industries and business. The next one is the marketing strategies of Northern Mindanao. Northern Mindanao's Regional Development Council recently expressed its support for the implementation of Mindanao Development Corridor, citing it as an innovative strategy that responds to the development needs of the island region. Environmental. The LGUs exhibited varying degrees of concern for the environment. Most LGUs have an approved solid waste management plan. Cities are responding more and implementing RA9003 or the Solid Waste Management Act of 2000. Biodiversity. Following a series of expeditions to four mountains in northern Mindanao, plus analysis of the distribution of species, the multi-institution effort culminated today with the announcement that the Caraga region is home total of 126 species of amphibians and reptiles. Natural resource use issues. Implementation of a program for delineating the ancestral lands and domain of IP and communities as well as the CBFM program. Market structures of Northern Mindanao. Northern Mindanao or Region 10 is a highly diversified region that enjoys quality living and sustainable economic growth. It is also a site to a multinational corporations which existed for decades. So we have here a graph and the first graph here is the DTI 
um, Region 10, Bestest Name Registry, is the GDP growth rate of at 2,000 constant prices Northern Mindanao. Let's move forward for the graph of Northern Mindanao value of exports in million US dollars. And last but not the least is the general institutional support. Earlier on RDCX endorsed the conduct of research studies and projects to support the outcome on human capital development to ensure the evidence based on planning and policy making in Northern Mindanao.